In this video, I will explain how emission and absorption line spectra are produced. This is the emission line spectra for hydrogen. This can be produced by exciting hydrogen gas, either by passing electricity through it or by burning it, and then using a prism or a diffraction grating to split the light up. The pattern that is produced is unique to this element. Here are some patterns for some other elements. To understand how these spectra are produced, we need to look inside the atom. In chemistry, we represent the electrons as orbiting the nucleus in shells. In physics, we tend to call these shells energy levels. We find it simpler to draw them as straight lines instead of circles, where the centre of the circles are represented by the bottom line. The electrons with the lowest energy are nearer the nucleus, or nearer the bottom of our diagram on the right. An electron can move up to a higher energy level by absorbing energy, or drop to a lower energy level by releasing energy. When we excite a gas, such as in this neon tube, we are giving energy to the electrons. This means that they will climb up to a higher energy level. Electrons are more stable at lower energy levels, so they will always try to drop back down. However, to drop back to a lower level, they have to release their extra energy. This energy is released as a photon. As you can see, there is a limited number of energy level transitions that are possible for each atom. This means that only certain energies of photon can be released, and since the energy of a photon is related to its frequency and colour, this means we get our distinctive pattern of coloured lines. So that's emission line spectra, but what about absorption line spectra? They look like this. Stars such as our Sun are so hot that they emit light of all frequencies, so we should see a full spectrum. However, if we look closely at the spectrum for our Sun, we would see these mysterious dark lines. These are absorption line spectra. Although we can only see it during an eclipse, the Sun has its own atmosphere of gases. When photons escaping from the hot core of the Sun pass through this atmosphere, some of them hit the atoms of the gases. Most of the time, nothing happens. But if the photon has exactly the same energy as one of the energy level transitions, it will cause an electron to jump up to a higher energy level. The photon is absorbed, so it never reaches us here on Earth. And when we look at the spectrum of light from the sun, we will see dark lines that match the frequencies of electrons that have been absorbed. These are our absorption line spectra. By looking at absorption line spectra and comparing them to the emission spectra for various elements, we can work out what elements are in the sun's atmosphere without us leaving the Earth. In fact, helium was discovered in the sun before we found any on the Earth using this technique of line spectra. So, to summarise, emission line spectra are caused by electrons in excited gases jumping up to a higher energy level, then dropping back down to their ground state. This releases a photon with exactly the same energy as the gap between those energy levels. Absorption line spectra are caused by the gases in a star's atmosphere absorbing photons with exactly the same energy as the gap between its energy levels. This causes the photon to disappear and an electron to jump up to a higher energy level.